Hello to everyone. We are going to have a program on Tower of Hanoi. Before we proceed, let's discuss what is Tower of Hanoi and what are the rules we have to follow while making this program. We will discuss the algorithm, also the logic behind the Tower of Hanoi problem. So Tower of Hanoi consists of a three towers, Tower A, B, C. So our task in Tower of Hanoi is that we have to transfer these disks from source tower to the destination tower. While doing so, we have certain limitation or some rules which we have to follow. The rules are we can move only one disk at a time from source to destination or anywhere we want. And second rule is that the smaller disk is going to be placed over the large disk and vice versa is not possible. It means you cannot place a larger disk over a smaller disk. So in Tower of Hanoi function or a Tower of Hanoi problem, you have to move this disk into the destination tower in minimum number of steps. So now discussing the logic behind it and the algorithm. First of all, you have to ask the user to enter the number of disks. So user will give you the number of disks. Then what you have to do, you have to transfer n minus one disk from a source tower to the auxiliary tower okay so you have transfer and minus one disk to the source tower to the auxiliary one then what we have to do you have to transfer this final disk which is the last one to the destination then finally you have to transfer those n minus one disk from auxiliary to the destination we are going to solve this tower of Hanoi problem using the function or we are going to use recursion. So let's move to the program. H and Q studio dot H. Let's zoom it a bit. Okay, okay. H and Q studio dot H. Now declaring the main function int main. We require one variable to accept the, or we can say to read the number of disks. Ask the user for enter the number of disks. Enter the number of disks. User will enter the disks. Person D, comma, and person time. So now, you have to call a function tower of Hanoi where you are going to pass the number of ticks and and the three towers name a is a source tower b is a destination tower and c is a auxiliary tower finally you have to return zero now you are going to make a function for tower of Hanoi declaring the prototype of a function it is returning the void value so void tower of hanoi in comma care comma care comma care we are going to print the value of the movement in the tower okay so now we'll define the function tower of hanoi in N, comma care a care b comma care c it's written type is void so what is happening in this program you have to transfer the n minus one disk one by one by one till n become one so logic is that if n is greater than equal one then this problem or this function will run okay if n is greater than or equal to one then we have to call the tower of hanoi function tower of hanoi n minus one disk which we are going to transfer from 
source to auxiliary so e is a source we are going to transfer it to auxiliary c is auxiliary and b using p now after they are transfer we are printer we are printing the transfer of the disk from we can say source to destination a to b and finally we are transferring those n minus ticks from auxiliary to the destination auxiliary c to the destination b using a this is all now we are going to run this program tower dot c it is asking for the number of bits suppose 5 so these are the transfers a to b then a to c then b to c a to b c to b these are the transfer and so finally all that is from a are transferred to b in minimum number of steps thank you for watching